Hello, Auto Hotkeys people. It's Tom from Tab Nation, and today we're going to be doing a Auto Hotkey text to speech. I've seen a few times this has been asked and just kind of how to do it. It's actually pretty simple when it comes to the speech part. No joke, it's one line of code. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the code, and then we'll show you an example. So here is my script. We're just kind of doing some basic setup things here to make the script run smoothly. I mean, with something simple like this, you don't really need it, but you might as well. Uh, so here I'm just using the hotkey F1. Obviously, you can change that to whatever you like. If you watch all my videos, you realize I pretty much always use F1 just because I'm used to it. My finger can reach it very easily, and I have no use for it. <clears throat> so uh, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight some text and then we're going to push or we're going to push F1. It's going to do send control C, which is copy. So it's going to copy that text. It's then going to do a com object create. So we're basically using the built in Microsoft uh, voice or text to speech that's already built in. So that's why this is so simple is because we're just doing this call with the com object. So we're using the SPA SAPI dot SP voice, you know, put that how it's uh, done there dot speak. And we're going to be using the clipboard here because that's where we did. We just copy and paste. Now, if you don't want to use the clipboard, maybe you want to have it say something that's built in. You can always just add instead of this line here, just add a variable and then put the variable name here. So we could do something like if I were to comment this out, should use the right thing. I could do like variable talk equals hello world. And then I would just copy and paste and put that there. And it would speak hello world when I did that. But we're not going to do that. We want to show you getting live text. Uh, another thing I want to point out too is instead of highlighting, maybe you just have a document that you open and you just want it instantly to read everything or a browser page. You can change this with uh, you can just add another line here that just says can, oops, says send control A. And what that will do is when you push F1, whatever document or page you're on, it's going to automatically highlight everything and then it's going to copy it. So I'll leave that in there, just comment it out so that when I post the code in the description below, you can pick and choose which way you want to do. So this by itself would be highlighting. This right here would just highlight everything on whatever you have on focus. So let's go ahead and see that in action. Uh, let's go ahead and find that and run that. Make sure I don't have any other scripts open, which I do. Pretty much always do. Text to speech. All right. So I just got a notepad here for an easy example. <clears throat> so we're going to highlight, push F1. Hopefully you can hear this over my mic. I like pizza and cookies, but when it comes to cookies, they are oatmeal ration. Haters gone hate. So there we go. Now, let's say I don't like that voice. I want to switch it up. Down here, I got F2, which is just to change the voice type. Uh, I'm not really going to go through all this. These are DLL calls. Don't claim to be an expert on them. I did do a video kind of introducing them and explaining kind of what they do and different things you can do with them. So definitely check that video out. Uh, it, it's surprising to me. Look at all this code. It's almost 100 or 105 lines of code there just to change the voice. But to do the speech thing, it's only one because we're using a comma object. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so yeah, so F2, I'm just kind of having a GUI here, and it basically gives me an option. I only have two on my computer, so I think the one we were just using was this one. Uh, so we're going to use David, so we're going to put a... I like pizza and cookies. Whoops. But when it comes to cookies, they are oatmeal ration. Haters gone hate. Okay, we'll let it talk. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to type in one, and we're going to push OK. So as you see, actually, I'm glad that happened. <clears throat> I didn't have anything highlighted, so it just took whatever was in the clipboard to talk. So that's another, I guess, feature I didn't even think about. If you just wanted to talk whatever's already in the clipboard, you can always do that too. Or replay what you already had last in case you didn't hear it right or you want to hear it again. You don't have to highlight again. So hey, it's not a bug. It's a feature. So we just changed it. So now we'll go in here, press F1. 
I like pizza and cookies. But when it comes to cookies, they are oatmeal raisin. Haters gone hate. So there we go. As you saw, it changed. I only have two on my computer. Obviously, you can install more to get more variety, but it will automatically find which voices you have and then put them into a number list there so you can pick what number one you want to use. Alrighty, if you have any questions on this or want me to expand on it in some way, definitely let me know in the comments below. Definitely subscribe. I'm throwing two to three videos out every week to you guys, and I will see you guys on the next one.